psychedelic stacks actually work, ketones are elevated, especially when you've done things like fasting, you know, going into the journey. When you go back through history, people were doing many day fasts and then doing this plant medicine journey, this holy experience. The deeper you are in that fast, the more elevated your ketones are. Those also help with neuroplasticity. And those are turning on your brain cells that prefer ketones for fuel over glucose. This is pre-journey. Adaptogens, they help us normalize and regulate. What happens there is you're getting a greater resiliency. You're improving that stress bucket. You're becoming harder to kill with these adaptogens. They're the most legendary herbs of all cultures, like maca in uh, South America, rhodiola in Russia, ashwagandha in India. You know, these are the legendary herbs because they do everything. When you optimize your body, you improve your stress resilience, you function better. You have a bigger stress bucket, allostatic load, and you are harder to kill. And that will help normalize your stress levels going into a journey. During the journey, I don't do a whole lot. I do hydration, electrolytes, magnesium, B vitamins, a little bit of theanine to relax a little bit more if needed. That's it. Pre-journey would be like, say, two to three days before the journey. Yep. And then yep. peri-journey would be what you'd have in your water bottle or what you would take the morning of the journey? Correct. And then lastly, post-journey. Now, this is about bouncing back. So we have our B vitamins, electrolytes, magnesium, things that help bring serotonin back online. 5-HTP is a saffron, D3, SAMI, Zembrin, a natural SSRI, serotonin reuptake inhibitor. It helps bring serotonin back online in combination with these other ingredients. Antioxidants now would be ideal. Things like glutathione, NAC, vitamin C, and NAC is N-acetylcysteine. This may be a long list for a lot of people. Um, if you had to recommend the top four on this item for post-journey, what would you say that would be? The top four and the easiest to get. I would say the electrolytes, Zembrin as an SSRI, make your normal levels of serotonin come back online much, much faster. I, see. I would say that 7-8 dihydroxyflavone for the neuroplasticity rhodiola or ashwagandha as the adaptogen. Those would be my so five, so five HTP, which is the most common one, didn't make the list in the top four. Cause I guess Zembrin, Zembrin is more effective, right? It's more effective, but I love the stack of the two, because if you're making yeah. more serotonin with five HTP and then you're keeping it around longer with a Zembrin, that's a mm -hmm. win. That's amazing. Sean, thank you so much. This has been such an incredible podcast episode. We have to have you back as a guest more. If you guys found this, these ideas interesting, check out the energyformula.com. It's energyformula.com. Check out Sean's book. You are going to absolutely love it.